solution. Have a look. Have a look. I first converted into phasor. Okay. So this is the resistance and this is the impedance plus J 250. It's very simple equation. We don't need any more more than Ohm's law. Ohm's law is the voltage divided by the impedance. We do the math for complex. We got this current in milliamp. Okay. So I can't write it. I can't write it now. The maximum cosine 500 T minus 135. If I want to find the voltage across the resistance, I multiply R by I. If I want to find the voltage across the inductance, I multiply Z, ZL by I, as you can see here. If I want to plot them in a phase of diagram, have a look at the uh, current, <coughs> current here with angle minus 135. So from here to here, minus 130, this is the current. Uh, VR, they are the same angle, so you see, which is expected, the same angle, as you can see, the same line because they are in phase. What about VL? What is the angle? Minus 45. Minus 45 from here to here. You can see VL. Now, the angle between VL and the current I is 90, as we expected. Okay. More example, these are parallel lines, okay? He asked me to find the phase, full phase voltage of the phase and phase current in each element, okay? Now, you can see, first of all, here in micro, in Henry, and here, cosine omega, 200, 200T, I should convert into phasor. This will be 5 with angle 0. This will be 1 over omega L. Omega, you know, it's 200, okay? We got it in ohm. The same thing here, omega L, we got it in ohm. Now, the circuit converted from time domain to phasor domain. Next is to find Z equivalent, because if I find Z equivalent, multiply by the current, it will give you the voltage. Z equivalent is 1 over ZL, ZR plus ZL plus ZC. Okay? Do the math. There is work to be done here. I will give you just final answer. This is the final answer. Now I got Z equivalent. I multiply by the current which is already given in the question. I got the answer here. Now this is the voltage across the three elements because they are in parallel, the same three elements. So <clears throat> divide the voltage by the ZC, you got the current across the capacitor. D divide the voltage across ZL, you got the current across the inductance. And voltage across the resistance, you got the voltage current across the resistance. Now I got them. It's easy, right? <coughs> now, more technique is to use mesh current when we have, as example, this circuit. We have two closed loop in this circuit. I will call the current here I1, which is rotating in this direction, and current I2, which is rotating in the same direction. You see here? Okay, now I expect to write two equations with two unknowns, I1 and I2. Okay, but before this, let me convert from phasor, the time domain to phasor domain. You see here cosine, you see here Henry, you see here Farad, Henry. I need to convert into ohms and the voltage here into phasor. I convert them. Now next, I will use Kirchhoff voltage law. Kirchhoff voltage, voltage is across closed circuit equals zero. So I will say that this current I1 multiplied by this impedance plus this resistance multiply current following here, you can see here, in this direction, minus current following in the other direction, I2, as you can see here. All this equal to the voltage supply, which is 100. Now, we simplify, okay? We simplify. Uh, we, we simplify, we got this this form, this equation. Now, the second equation here, you see uh, this impedance my multiply by I2, as you can see here. This impedance multiply by I2, as you can see here. This resistance multiply by I2 minus I1, as you can see, because they are opposite. Is there any voltage source here? No, then it's equal to zero. Also, I simplify and rearrange we have the equation in this way. Now you see two equations with two unknown I1 and I2. We can't solve them by 
uh, elimination similar to the previous example I just discussed, or substitution or Kramer rule. I got the currents. Please try to go to, to do it by yourself and find the current because you need to know how much it takes from you to solve it. Okay, you need to practice also. Then I too also calculated. Now just convert from phasor domain into diamond, which is easy. The maximum or the magnitude cosine omega t minus the phase shift. That, that's it. Now, last point in this uh, week module, mo module one to complete module one, is the power in AC circuit. You remember power in DC circuit is P equal I square R or P equal V square over R. This is the power. We don't have any other type or any other power. But here we have inductance and capacitance. This needs to be considered when we talk about power in AC circuit. As example here, you can see this is voltage source and this is the current following, and this is the resistance, and this is Jx. X is here is inductance, so uh, the current will be lag. You see, minus theta, it means it's lag, the voltage. You see, V over Z, as you can see here. So I M is, uh, I is I M with angle minus theta. Now, here theta, okay, if it is positive, then the whole angle here will be negative, this is called uh, inductive. While if it is negative theta, and which means less than zero, and multiplied by negative it will be positive, then this means capacitive. Because you don't forget, for inductance, current is lagging the voltage, but for capacitance, current is leading the voltage. Okay. Now, in resistive load, we have no problem. It's similar to DC. Z is R with angle zero, and Vm cosine omega t, and Im is Im cosine omega t is the current, and when we multiply them, we got this function. You see here, current and voltage, they are in phase. There is no phase shift between them, which is expected because this is uh, resistance. You see the shape of the current and voltage is the same. See, the same shape for current and voltage. And they start together, they stop together. You finish the cutter. Now, um, for inductive load, you see Z is omega R with angle 90, okay? And when I divide voltage to find the current, voltage by omega R with 90, this 90 will go over here, up, it will be minus 90, which tell me that the current I am with minus 90, it means the current lag the voltage by minus nine, by 90 degree. Current is lagging behind, okay? Delayed from the voltage, okay? Now, uh, when we multiply current by voltage, okay, we will have this, this, this is the multiplication. We have sine element and cosine element. And when we try this trigonometric formula, we got this formula, which tell me it is Vm Im over two sine two omega t. Okay, it means the power here is sine two omega t. Actually, what happened, this is a reactive power. What do you mean of reactive power? Real power is transferred as heat, which is what we see in the resistance. I square R, V square over R. But inductance and capacitance, we have another type of, because they are of power, because they are uh, imaginary elements, okay? So we will call them reactive power. So what happen is, in the inductance, in the first half part of the time, the magnetic energy store in the inductance. In the next, if in the second half of the time, this energy stored will be released. The total will be zero. At the end, will be zero. Okay, dissipated in the inductance. For capacitance, or something similar. Okay, something similar happened in the capacitor. You see, this is Z. Already, it is with minus 90. When we divide minus 90, go up. It will be positive, as you can see here, which tell me that the current is leading the voltage. If I apply the same thing for by multiplying current and voltage for the power to find the power, I will find also sine to omega t, which is reactive power for capacitor. It is opposite in sign, by the way. Here is negative. The previous one is positive. It means for inductance, it's positive reactive power. For capacitor, it is negative. Simply, 
reactive power in capacity in inductance is the inductance absorb reactive power. It means take reactive power. Okay, consume reactive power. Similar to the inductance of the transformer, uh, of the generator, and other inductive loads. While the capacitive load or capacitor release or let me say uh, produce reactive power. Okay, generate reactive power, inject reactive power. Okay. And also here, the, the volt, the, the electrical charge in the capacitor store in the first half part of the time and release or discharge in the second half part, half part of the time. Now, power for a general load, for a general load, because some load is not necessary to be either pure resistive or pure inductive or pure capacitive. Could be a mix of these elements. Inductive resistance, for that we call it RLC, okay? Now, general, the angle should be between the phase angle between 90 and plus 90. Have a look here. If this is Vm cosine omega t, then the current is Im cosine omega t minus theta. Usually, most of the load is inductive because usually, in, why inductive? Because we use uh, air conditioning, as example in Oman, the, the, uh, the, majority, the major load in Oman is inductive because we use air conditioning most of the time. We use um, also lighting, lighting is classified as inductive load, and so on. Now, when we multiply them, this cosine by this cosine using the trigonometric formula here will go to, to, to be two elements, this element and this element. Now, element which contain two omega t to go to zero because its average is zero. <clears throat> so this one will be canceled and this one will be canceled. What is left? One by Vm i m over two <clears throat> cosine theta two, theta one, theta i. Now, as you can see here, now, this square, this two in the denominator can be written in this way, square root two by square root two, because square root two by root two is two. And this part will be Vm over square root two, Im over square root two, which give me, you see, RMS at the end, RMS, okay? RMS, cosine theta i. This is the general average for power in AC circuit, which is VRMS, IRMS cosine theta, theta I is the angle between current and voltage. And by the way, we can represent power factor PF, which is parameter or index, we measure how we utilize the electrical power, okay? It's like efficiency as example, is cosine theta I, okay? Now, phase angle for voltage is not zero while defined by four angle theta. So we can say theta is the theta angle of the voltage minus theta the angle of the current and is represented by theta here, which is the phase shift between voltage and current. Now here, let me summarize. We have three type of power in AC circuits. One of them is the average power, or we call it simply the power, or we call it uh, active power is the power VRMS, IRMS cosine theta, which is the power consumed in the resistive in general, and its unit is what? The second type of power is reactive power, which is the power of the inductive or the capacitive, mean inductance or capacitance, which is also VRMS, IRMS, but sine theta. Its unit, we want to distinguish between power of what and power of P, of P and power of Q, we will call its unit VAR, V-A-R volt and pair reactance. By the way, VAR is, is the same what, but the name is different to distinguish between reactive and active. Apparent power is the total. It means both active and reactive. Average power and reactive power. So it's simply VMS, RMS, VRMS, RMS. And its unit usually volt and pair only, VA. So let me ask a question. Which type of power have unit what? you will say average power or active power or real power. Okay. Which type of power have the unit VAR? You will say reactive power, Q. Which type of power have the units which is volt ampere? You will say apparent power, S. Okay. You see? Simply S square equal P square plus 
q square or or s equal p plus minus j s okay sorry j q j q okay now for inductive load if we would like to sketch the power triangle we will say the real element is p q will be vertical here in this way and this is the s which is v rms rms and theta is positive for uh, reactive power uh, capacitive load p is still horizontal q going time down in the negative minus q and this is the resultant which is s which is v rms rms the angle you see in the negative direction so it's minus theta now uh, theta is the same theta for the, the the impedance you see you remember r and x and this is z the phase shift here is theta it is the same theta in current it's the same theta i mean the the phase shift between current and voltage okay now power simply we can calculate also rather than v rms rms cosine theta we can calculate it i rms square pr or p equal v rms square over uh, r and the q is i rms square x x could be xl or xc and the q equal i v rms square over x now let me stop here and uh, i hope we cover all points related to module one see you in the next module thank you